Hello everybody, C-Slug here, and uh, I thought since I finished my Super Mario World Let's Play, I thought I'd do a, uh, another Mario game, so if you have a new Super Mario Bros, let me go ahead and start a new game. Now, I'm actually not sure if I want to do 100% of this game, since this game does have the uh, star coins, and well, we finally have star coins, so I can finally stop. <laughs> Calling them star coins when they're actually Yoshi. Yeah, whatever. His point is, okay. Point is, this game actually saves if you've actually uh, gotten these star coins. So, yeah, I'm most likely gonna end up getting them all, but it's gonna be way. It's gonna be kind of hard for me since I don't know where all the star coins are at in this game. Like, I do know where they're all at in the first two worlds, and then like. I don't know, there's some levels where the star coins are hidden, like in really evil places, but... Yeah, I like how the castle is like back there, so... It's kinda cool. Of course, this is the only level where that background is in, so... Anyway, if we just keep going forward. I am gonna wait to hit that... I think. I'm gonna wait to hit that block over there. I'm pretty sure y'all know what's in there, but if you don't know, well... You've probably never played the game before, anyway. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna need this. I said I'm gonna need this. Go ahead and get the star coin right here. And, okay, that's the second one, so the... I mean, that's the third one, so the uh, second one is down this pipe. And, uh, this is something... Uh, this is, like, a thing in, that this game does. It's like... Oh, no! I didn't mean to... I did not mean to exit. <laughs> I did not mean to exit the pipe. Or that area. Now I need to go back. Okay. I'm actually thinking if I want to uh, move the uh, screen to the uh, left. Because right now the way I, I uh, have my layout. The top screen is on the uh, left. And the uh, bottom screen I made it smaller. And put it on the right. So. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it like that. Like whenever the game changes up the uh, cameras like that or the screens like that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it how it is it doesn't really do that too much like okay all right we're gonna get this big mushroom just before it falls off that way we can actually uh, fill up the meter so yeah the more things we destroy the more that meter fills up it's actually really hard to fill it up on the way and uh, yeah but if you destroy the uh, Flag it like automatically fills up all the way. I think it actually. I think it I think it fills up all the way. It probably doesn't, but yeah, that's how you do it in uh, world or in level one. You just wait, like just before it drops. Anyway, one two. Just like always, we have the uh, underground level. So, ooh, nice. We actually got a. Uh, we actually got. The uh, Koopa shell. I like this item. This item's pretty good. But, uh, this item's pretty good, I have to say. But, like, I kind of prefer the Fire Flower. But it's still a really fun item to use. I wish they would have brought it back in some other Mario games. Like, I really. Damn it! Oh my god. Well, I guess I'm not gonna be showing something off later on. Yeah, you need the uh, you need a uh, blue Koopa shell to uh, take the uh, secret exit in a later level. And damn it, okay, I forgot the uh, Koopa shells actually pick up the uh, star coins for you. But anyway, right here, okay, a bunch of coins. Uh, this level right here actually does have a secret exit. Come on, piranha, pass by. get past this part and okay right here just gotta weigh it down so this part all goes all the way up and over here we have our secret exit along with our uh, third star coin so get that all right so secret exits the uh, color of the flag is always gonna be red And not all levels have secret exits. However, uh, okay, not all levels have secret exits, but the ones that do, 
I kind of wish they would have done what they did in Super Mario World and uh, changed the color of the level, like the color of the dock. That way you could actually know that it has a secret exit because some of these levels, like, they have it like so hidden that you really just can't find it. I don't need the trampoline. Kind of, I wanted to take it up with me, but I don't need it. Alright, uh, right here. If you're a big Mario, you can, uh, ground pound on these things and hold down on the D-pad and, uh, You'll get a mushroom if you uh, hit enough coins out of those blocks. It's, I don't really find it too useful because because you have to be big Mario in order to get a mushroom from that, but you're already big Mario, so I kind of wish they would have made it so you could do that with like when you're tiny Mario. So that way you can actually get something out of it. But I suppose if you want an item in your inventory, then you know that helps. Anyway, there we have the uh, normal exit, and uh, right here we have one of my, I don't know, I wouldn't say this is one of my favorite levels, but I like the levels that are like this right here, like, yeah, mushroom levels, I like them, I really like them in this game, they have a bunch of, like, variety, like, these mushrooms right here, you know, are just slowly shaking uh, left and right, you also got these things, which are fun. Yeah, this level right here is really easy. Okay, there you have your first star coin. The second star coin is actually over here. And uh, you can follow those coins, but really you just need to come over here. Right, I think I may have actually missed a star coin. Please don't tell me. Oh no, it's right here. Yeah. Alright, the last one is not hard to get at all. It's actually right here, so there we have it. Okay, here we have a uh, acorn, uh, red acorn, uh, red acorn, red acorn ring. So you go through it, ac re damn it, I messed that up. Anyway, you go through those rings and eight red coins will appear. Red coins, I think they're worth two coins. I don't actually remember, but if you get all of them, you'll get a power up. It, it goes like, uh, I think if you're tiny Mario, you'll get a mushroom. I think you get a mushroom, either that or you get a, uh like a fire flower or something like that but if you're already big you'll get another item for your inventory and if you already have an item for your inventory then you'll get a one-up anyway get that and the one of the things i really like about this game is your inventory i like how they uh it reminds me a lot of super mario world i believe that's the only other game that that's done it and uh, basically your inventory you can just touch the bottom screen and your item will pop up out pop out on the uh, level And your first star coins over here not hard at all Okay, second star coin are actually the third actually, Yeah, this is the third one, but this one can actually be hard kind of hard to get Getting it's not hard, but then surviving this part can be a little bit tricky. Not too hard, but still. I mean, if you get caught between those two things, it's instant death, so. And anyway, the second star coins inside this door. And uh, in here is also the, uh, the uh, secret exit for this level. This level does have a secret exit. Took me forever to figure it out, but basically you have to come over here, and uh, you need a uh, blue Koopa shell to get through here. All right, right here we have one up. You would miss that one up if you uh, just hit all these. Actually, never mind. You can't miss it. You know, really wish I would have had a blue Koopa shell in this level, but they don't. How to go and lose mine earlier? Anyway, right here, if you're not careful, you could actually get squished and die. Damn it, messed that up. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Yes, okay. Yeah, you can die there, which is kind of annoying. Just gotta be patient when you go in that pipe. Like, 
wait for the uh, wasp to uh, start coming out. But yeah, this fight is incredibly easy. These fights are incredibly easy if you just use your uh, fire flower. As you saw right there, there was like no danger. Alright, how much time has passed? 10 minutes. Kinda wanna kinda wanna say that's uh, you know what I'll keep going a little bit. Anyway, one four. Here we're gonna be introduced to one of m to probably my least favorite item ever. I despise this item right here. Uh, the item being the tiny mushroom. I hate I hate this item so much. The only reason this exists is to, uh, you know, make star coins that are a pain in the ass to get. I mean, you can walk on water, but really, this item is really useless. I mean, you can get killed. I mean, if you have this item, you're pretty much tiny Mario, and one hit will kill you. So, yeah, if they would have changed the item so that if you get hit, you get turned into big Mario, then I wouldn't hate it so much like I don't know I would actually think it's cool but, but at first I honestly thought it was a pretty cool item but now it's just like I don't know the way they use it it's really horrible it has like no good levels so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it anyway uh we missed the star coin so damn oh wow I almost got hit we missed the star coin so where is it actually could have sworn the uh, star coin that was over there was the uh, second one, but no, the star coin we missed should be in here. Just gotta wait for this uh, Koopa shell to get all the way down there. Do a one up, I want that. Alright, there we go. And crap, crap, crap! Whoa, that was close. Alright, here we have the star coin. Do not, do not get those uh, coins right there because you're gonna need them to turn them into platforms to get up here. Alright, let's get, let's get the flag. Yeah, getting to the top of the flag is actually a lot harder in this game than it is on the uh, Wii. That it is on the uh, Wii game. I don't know. They made it a lot easier on the Wii game, but on this one, it's actually pretty tough. You can do it, which is nice, but it's pretty tough. So anyway, I'm gonna go back into this level just because there is a item right here, and I want to see what it is. Okay, it's a Koopa shell. Nice. Just what I needed. Okay, return back to map. And please tell me I get to keep my item. I do not. That is retarded. I hate how they changed that from Super Mario World. Because in Super Mario World, if you remember, if you can go into a level, there will be a power-up for you. Like, right at the beginning, you can just get that. And then just exit the level and be on your merry way. But, on, but in this game, they decided, no, you have to beat the level with your power-up to actually uh, keep it. Which is, no! Damn it! Okay, exit the level. Alright, please be a blue Koopa shell. I really would like a blue Koopa shell right now. That would be like the perfect thing for me to uh, end, of, end off this video. Okay. Alright, I think I'm going to cut away till me beating this level. Alright, heading back over here. I'm actually going to take the uh, secret exit. So, like I said, you need the blue Koopa shell. Alright, just jump over here. Going here, and you know what? I'm gonna take the mushroom and the one up. Damn, ah, oh, dang it. Uh, okay, come to me. Alright. Alright, just get inside your Koopa shell and then go back and forth. Break to those two. And over here, we have the uh, pipe that takes the secret exit. Yes, I did it. <laughs> I wanted to wall jump off that wall right there. Alright, uh, jump jump and wow I actually got the uh, top of the flag there so yeah I think I'm gonna call this an episode thank you guys for watching and later folks